Hello, this is the center of the universe. Uh, happy Christmas and Happy New Year to everyone. Now uh, I have a question. I wonder what's the difference between this video and my other videos? You could say down in the comments. And let's go. At the first glance, the EVA 2418 sewing machine is ticking all the boxes. It's a vintage uh, sewing machine uh, I got when I moved into this house four years ago. It's a really uh, practical uh, sewing machine. It's good uh, for repairing clothes and also bed clothes. And uh, it has a, a lot of different uh, waveforms. You can see here, saw wave, triangle, noise and square. But uh, contrary to a synthesizer, it will make more or less the same sound, no matter what waveform you choose, but it will uh, change the pattern of uh, the sewing. Uh, but I had a problem with this one, and that's the reason why I make this video now. The instruction manual is uh, not very easy. It's in Danish, it's also in English, but it's, I really had to read this a couple of times to find out uh, how to put the overtread and the undertread. So that's what we're going to do now. Okay, on the model A1, you place the spool on the pin as shown here. Point two, you go through the thread guides. It's marked with one and two. And then you hold this one and you go through the uh, uh, tension discs, like this. This little spring goes up. And then I found I have to go under here, through 0.5, and under again, <laughs> to make mine work. I'm not really sure about this. And you go through, through the uh, thread guide number seven, and uh, you put uh, this one to three. I put this one to three. And then you can thread the needle. Next uh, thing we're gonna do is to pick up the under thread. You put a spool like this. And with the wheel, you pull the needle down and up again. And you take a scissor like this. Whee. Here's the under thread, like this. Now everything should be fine. Merry Christmas and uh, Happy New Year and uh, Happy Sewing. Mm -hmm.